I'm James Harris. I'm the Global Chief Digital Officer for CARA, um, the world's biggest media network. I was a, a musician who didn't make the big time. So um, I, was in a, I was in a band and we, we did fairly well in, in the kind of club circuit and playing around. And then basically, as you do, we run out of money. So um, I ended up having to get a job and I was kind of got a job in media. I started out in traditional media, print buying, um, television, comms planning. And then I founded an agency in 94, and about 95, we started sort of thinking about this thing called the internet. Um, and then we started kind of developing products, and we then built a business on the back of that. And then in 2000, I moved to London to work for Cara. When I used to work in the world of traditional media, it was very, very much the same every day. You would come in, you would do a press plan, you would come in and do a television plan. It didn't really change from month to month, year to year. Um, digital changes so quickly, and I think that's super exciting. The word innovation is a very interesting word. It's actually a way of thinking, and therefore, I think the most powerful thing with innovation is if you actually change the word to why. So, why can't we? Why not? Why would I do this? And actually, for me, innovation is about always looking at what you're doing and saying, can I change that? Could I change that a little bit? I think probably one of the best examples I could ever quote is The Simpsons. So I'm a big fan of The Simpsons, but again, it's the same format every week, but it isn't. If you look at the couch gag, the couch gag is a great way of innovating, restless change without actually having to kind of constantly reinvent the wheel. I think you need to have clients who are incredibly brave, especially in the digital economy we're in at the moment. There's a real kind of what I call a Kermit the Frog risk, which let me explain. So if you, if you basically um, take a frog and you put him in a pan of boiling water, he jumps straight out. But if you put him in that pan of water and then you boil it up slowly, he kind of sits there like he's in a jacuzzi and enjoys himself until he boils to death. Um, so quite simply, I think that's the danger is unless we're constantly going why, we're questioning why we're doing things, looking for that constant flow of innovations, there's a real danger that clients will suddenly just find themselves that frog in the pan. Two or three years ago, um, we were asked to pitch for a very large client um, for their SEO business. Now, we were pitching against a lot of search specialist agencies, a lot of the big networks, in fact, all of them. Um, and interesting, you know, the question was, how are we going to be different? How are we going to innovate? We walked into the, to the clients, we gave them a sheet of paper with guidelines, and we walked them through how to make a, a piece of origami, which was our story. Origami is a great way to look at digital because you have to have creativity, you have to have a vision on what you want to get to, but then you have to have the skills to actually take that piece of paper and follow really detailed processes, fold it. Because if you make one wrong fold, for example, when you're making a dragon or something like that, it obviously doesn't look like a dragon. The clients were quite interested and they hired us, but I think it was a good way of saying, actually also digital is not that complicated. So you can learn this, anyone can learn that kind of thing. I love digital, I'm very passionate about it, but I, I think we just need to keep trying to simplify it and make it more interesting and, and easier for people to understand. Now, the thing with simplicity is it's a very difficult thing to do. It's incredibly easy to put a chart up and say, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication, but to then actually deliver that is the real challenge, the real opportunity. But for me, I think we still need to think more about simplicity. So my big driver at the moment is helping other people to do that, to make sense of all that complexity, and actually quite simply to say it's not frightening.